ಇದು ಇದು ಹೇಗೆ ಮಾಡಲಾಗಲ್ಲ ಯಾಕೆ ಬರ್ತೀನಿ ನಾ ಇನ್ನು ಶಾಲೆಗೆ ಹೋದಳಲ್ಲ ಇದು ನಾ ಮುಂಚೆ ಒಂದೊಂದು ಸರಿ ಮೂರು ಲಕ್ಷ ನಾಲ್ಕು ಲಕ್ಷ ಗೆಳ ಮಾಡ್ತೇವೆ ಹೇಗೆ ಅಂತ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಖುಷಿ ಆಗ್ತಿದ್ರು ಕಾಡು ಬೆಳೆಸಿದ್ರೆ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಕಟ್ಗೆ ಸಿಗ್ತಿದ್ರು ಈ ಸೊಪ್ಪು ಸಿಗ್ತಿದ್ರು ಈ ತರಕ ಸಿಗ್ತಿದ್ರು ಎಲ್ಲ ಸಿಗ್ತಿತ್ತು ನಮಗೆ ಯಾರು ಸಿಕ್ಕುದಿಲ್ಲ ಮುರಿಲ್ಲ ಮತ್ತು ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕಾಡಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಹುಡಿಯೋ ಕೈಡಿಯೋ ಆನೆಯೋ ಹೊಂದಿ ಎಲ್ಲ ಇತ್ತು ಅವಕ್ಕೂ ಕಾಡಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಎಲ್ಲ ಸಹ ಕರುಣಿಗೆ ಹಣ್ಣು ಹಂಪು ಗಿಡ ಎಲ್ಲ ಸಿಗ್ತಿದ್ವಿ ಕಾಡು ಕಟ್ಟು ಮಾಡೋದಕ್ಕೆ ನನ್ನ ಮುಂದೆ ಕಡೋದಕ್ಕೆ ನನ್ನ ಕಲಿಗೆ ಹೋಗಾಕಲ್ಲ ಕಡಿಬೇಡಿ ಮರ ಬೆಳೀಲಿ ತಂಪಬೇಕು ಗಾಳಿ ಬೇಕು ನಮ್ಗೆ ಕಟ್ಟಿಗಬೇಕು ಎಲ್ಲ ಬೇಕಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತೀನಿ ನಾನು ನನ್ನ ಮುಂದೆ ಕಡು ಕೊಡುವುದಿಲ್ಲ ನಾನು Indian tribes, also known as Aboriginal communities or Adivasi, are residing in forests since time immemorial. There are nearly 10.40 million tribal people residing on 15% of total Indian geography and constitutes 8.60% of the total population. Forest and tribals are culturally and traditionally linked to each other. Most of them live in close proximity of forest depending on the forest for livelihood and subsistences. The ethnic people of India have played a vital role in preserving biodiversity of several virgin forests and have conserved several flora and fauna in sacred groves of tribals otherwise these flora and fauna might have disappeared from natural ecosystem the halaki wakkalu adivasis are an indigenous tribe of karnataka they are found predominantly in karwar honnavara and ankola taluk of uttara kannada district and are distinct from wakkaligas Halaki Vakkalu Adivasis living in the foot of Western Ghats are known as the aboriginals of Uttara Kannada. Their way of living is still ancient. The women adorn themselves with beads and necklaces, very unique way of wearing sarees and a distinctive attire. These are the special identities of Halaki women. This makes them to stand out in the crowd. Halakki Vakkalu Adivasis speak a different dialect of Kannada called as Acha Kannada. The Halakki community with about 1.50 lakh population is spread across in four taluks of Uttara Kannada. Most of them are agricultural laborers. They are also known for cattle rearing and the production of milk thereby. They are innocent, hard working and kind-hearted. 
they have their own distinct identity tanned skin slim physique speaks about their hard work even though they are away from education they have saved the social responsibilities their way of living is still ancient and needs amalgamation with the mainstream especially among them are two of the women achievers of their community who have been awarded with padma shri by the government of india one is sukri bommagauda who is notable halakki bokkalu and has won the padma shri award in 2017 for folk singing she is fondly known as the nightingale of halakis and the other is tulsi govinda gowda an environmentalist from ankola taluk who was honored with the padma shri award in 2021 this is the life story of the 84 year old padma shri awardee tulsi govinda gowda who had at the very early age as a child love for nature and environment living in a small village honali adjacent to river kali 20 kilometers from the taluk headquarters she has planted more than 30 lakhs of plants in the forest and nurtured them with environmental concern tulsi govinda gowda who was born in 1938 into the Halakki Vokkalu tribal family. Her father Narayana and mother Neeli both were daily wage workers. Since she lost her father when she was 2 years old, she could not get formal education. Since parents were daily wage workers, it prompted her to take up the same from childhood. Along with this She used to collect firewood from the forest. This made her to love nature, environment and the forest. Tulasi Govinda Gowda not only collecting firewood but she also used to collect dried seeds of the forest trees. The collected seeds were planted in the soil with manure and she watered it frequently. The saplings which were grown by her were planted in empty forest land like any other children she couldn't play or get education at a young age of 12 years she was married off to an older man named gobinde gowda she does not know her exact age when the marriage happened her husband died when she was 17 years old again she returned to her old life of poverty but the love for environment never diminished katti andre taayin pen ko hogud namu avru katki hogtiru nama hudgi itti jigta ka hotidala atta saka baru katki hogi matu dwardala kodli ka hogudilla namatra elaru bidudu hing maarkandi katki but itte saka andi mane baru ಕಾಡಂದೆ ಕಟ್ಗಿ ಮನೆಗೆ ತಂದು ನಮ್ಮ ಮನೇಲಿ ಕಚ್ಚೋದು ಅನ್ನ ಸಾರು ಎಲ್ಲ ಮಾಡ್ಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಕಟ್ಗಿ ತಂದು ಮಾರಾಟ ಮಾಡಿನಲ್ಲ ನಾನು ಸಣ್ಣಿವೆ ಹನ್ನೆರಡು ವರ್ಷ ಆನೆಲ್ಲ ನಂಗೆ ಮದಿ ಆದಾಗ ಸಣ್ಣ ಇವೆ ನಂಗೆ ಅದು ಎಷ್ಟು ಒರಿಸೋದು ಗೊತ್ತಿಲ್ಲ ನಾ ದೊಡ್ಡದೊಳಲ್ಲ ಸಣ್ಣಿದಾಗೆ ಮದಿ ಮಾಡೋದು ನನ್ನ ಗಂಡಗೆ ವಯಸ್ಸಾಗಿತ್ತು ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಮನೆ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡುವವರು ಇಲ್ಲ ಅಂದು ಅವರು ಮದಿ ಮಾಡಿ ಇಕ್ಕಂತು ಇಕ್ಕಂಡ್ರು ಮನೇಲಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಅದು 
ತಾಯಿನ ಮಾವ ಹಿಂಗ ಸಿಕ್ಕಪ್ಪ ಅಲ್ಲ ಇದ್ದವರು ಮಾದಿ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಂಡ್ರು wandering in the forest searching for seeds grow them to saplings was her routine work ready to plant saplings of nandi rosewood malbar kino bamboo peepal tree rotan cashew nutmeg kokum mango jackfruit and various other saplings including a few medicinal plants which were not only planted in the forest but distributed freely to the neighbors this was a routine work the plants have grown huge and the area is lush green lovely and spectacular to see nai nursery yadagido illu geda belisi cardinal belisi howdu ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಮೊದಲೇ ನಾವು ಅದು ಮಾಡುವುದಿಲ್ಲ ಈಗ ಹಿಂಗೆ ಚಾಗೋನಿ ನಂದಿ ಮತ್ತಿ ಕಿಂದಳು ಮಾವು ಹಲಸು ತಾರಿ ಹಿಂಗೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಗಿಡ ಬಾಳಟ್ಟು ಗಿಡ ಮಾಡಿಯ ನನಗೆ ಈಗ ಹೇಳಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಅಂಬರಿ ಇರೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಹಿಂಗೆ ಒಂದು ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತು ಜಾತಿದಾರು ಮಾಡ್ತೇವೆ ಈಗೂ ಬೆತ್ತ ಇದ ಇಟ್ಟೆಲ್ಲ ಮಾಡಿಕ್ಕಿವಲ್ಲ ಹಾಗೆ ಮಾಡ್ತೇ ಹೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಅದು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಮಾಡೋದು ಕಾಡಿನಲ್ಲಿ ನೆಡೋದು ನಮಗೆ ಹೆಚ್ಚಿಗೆ ಆದರೆ ಬಾಕಿಯವರು ಕೊಡೋದು ರಾಮಗುಳ್ಳ ಅಂಕೋಲ ಕಾರವಾರ ಅನಿಸಿ ಆ ಬದಿಗೆಲ್ಲ ತಗೋಬೋದು ನಲ್ ನರ್ಸರಿ ಮಾಡಿ ನಲ್ವತ್ತೈದು ವರ್ಷ ಆಯ್ತೆ ಐವತ್ತು ವರ್ಷ ಆಯ್ತದ ಆಗ ಒಂದು ಕಾರ್ ರೂಪಾಯಿ ಕೊಡೋರು ನಮ್ಗೆ ಇಟ್ಟೊಟ್ಟು ಗೂಟ್ಗೆ ಹೋಗಿರಿ ಗೂಟ್ಗೆ ಆದರೂ ಮತ್ತೆ ಬಂದು ಊಟ ಮಾಡ್ಕ ಮತ್ತೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿಗೆ ಬರೋದು ಒನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ಏಯ್ಟಿ ತ್ರೀ ಪಾಪ್ಯುಲರ್ ಫಾರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫೀಸರ್ ಯಲ್ಲಪ್ಪ ರೆಡ್ಡಿ ವಿಸಿಟ್ ದ ಏರಿಯಾ ವೇರ್ ಶಿ ವಾಸ್ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಯಾಪ್ಲಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಹಿ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ದ ವರ್ಕ್ ಆಫ್ ತುಳಸಿ ಹರ್ ಡಿವೋಷನ್ and he spoke to her and asked her name for tulsi gauda the job was more important than anything she was so innocent that she never had the knowledge that she should get up and respect when an officer visits still she replies and tells her name as tulsi yella paredi asks her whether she can work in our nursery so she agrees with the officer then yalla paredi includes her in daily wage service in the mastikatta forest range she worked for 15 years as a permanent employee in 1983 uh, i visited mastikatta nursery along with my deputy conservator assistant conservator range officers foresters guards there would be paraphernalia of the uh, staff members so one or two three cars and two three jeeps we stopped in the mastikatta uh, nursery which is very close to karwar so when we walk there naturally when our vehicles stop there the staff will get alerted my guard will come and salute and forester will come and salute and do all, all sorts of uh, uh, no, normal um, protocols these are all, uh, normal protocols so when this protocol was going on most of the other ladies were working uh, they stood up and uh, they also uh, they see but one lady one lady she is not very old at that time and she was uh, around in the mid age and she never bothered to get up or um, and look back to see who who came uh, who are they what are they? she never bothered and then I, i went very close to her watching her when i was watching her her professional skill of filling the polythene bag she is she, she is not a trained uh, person uh, about the uh, to understand seed biology nursery technique and uh, poly- filling of the polythene bags all those things by herself 
she uh, professionalized the method of filling the polythene bags. So when I was observing her, I thought this lady is something different. Different in her dedication to the work. She is just not bothered. So when I was observing, I asked her very politely, what is your name? Without raising her head, Tulsi. That arrogant reply would have been resulted in normally the people will get enraged. When I asked a simple question, are you going to help me in understanding the regeneration technique, seed biology, phenology, what we call it, flowering, fruiting uh, season, etc. She said, work openly, without winking, yes, I will do that. Whatever I know, I will do that. Not for extra, she never asked extra salary. She never claimed anything extra. I paid her only the normal wages. Knowledge acquired by her right from her childhood. Since making saplings was a most lovable job, it was easy for her to search the seeds after wandering in the forest, make saplings and plant in the empty land of the forest. By this, she was successful in planting more than 30 lakhs of plants in the forest and nurturing them to a forest. Yet in the Hangman Langana Kapatina in Shali Godola, Idu Namoche, Onochera, Mur Laksha, Nak Laksha, Gedamatia. Yangavantanam Kushia to the card of Bessere, I can have a Katiki Sikilu, Isopo Sikilu, Turk Sikilu, Yala Sikit Namu, Yalu Sikudila Murilla, Mata and Cardinally Ulia, Kadia, Anya, Hundia, Oku Cardinally, Yala Shakarniga, Hunu Hompoga, Yala Sikit. When wood thieves cut trees, there are instances of she hugging the tree and crying. Car cut to mud of the car, none among the Kadu the car, none curry, woka kala, Kadi vadi, Mara belly, Thumpavik, Garvik, Namaka, Katuvik, Yella Vik and Thirtina. Nan Hugal Kantu, Nano, E. Geluoka kala. Bad and healthy, our hair marks in Nangin Kutagura, Kaditira, Bidira, Nanamu the Kadukuru Dilanan. Her dream was to provide shelter, breathable air for thousands of people, and food for animals and birds. Tulsi Gauda is known by environmentalists as the Encyclopedia of the Forest, and by her tribe, she is known as the Tree Goddess because of her knowledge of the forest and its plants. She is known for her ability to identify the mother tree of every species of tree in the forest, no matter where it is. Mother trees are significant because of their age and size, which makes them the most connected nodes in the forest. These underground nodes are used to connect mother trees with saplings and seedlings as the mother tree exchanges nitrogen and nutrients. Tulasi Gauda is also an expert in seed collecting, the extraction of seeds from mother trees in order to regenerate and regrow entire plant species. It is a difficult process as the seeds must be collected at the peak of germination from the mother tree in order to ensure the survival of the seedlings. And Tulsi Gauda is able to work out this exact time. During her time at the nursery, she contributed and worked directly on the forestation efforts of the forest department by using traditional knowledge of the land. As well as planting saplings, she worked to prevent poachers and forest fires from destroying the wildlife. Tulsi Gauda cannot explain how she gathered her knowledge of the forest, but says 
It is as if she can speak the language of the forest. In the traditions of a tribe, the Halaki Vokaliga, the matriarchy is connected to nature and cares for the land. Encouragement and awareness program about nature and environment for school, college students was done by her traveling across Karnataka. A sampling was planted in the school premises by her to awaken the students. The concern about nature and environment of Tulsi Gauda was recognized throughout India. In 2021, on the recommendation from the forest officer Yallapa Reddy, the government of India has honored her with Indira Priyadarshini Brukshamitra Award. In 1999, the government of Karnataka honored her with the prestigious Kannada Rajyotsava Award for her achievement. The Aji Chunchanagiri State Vokaliga Mahasamstana has honored her with the title Chunchashri. More than 100 associations have honored her. Tulsi Gowda retired after 58 years of continuous service during 2002. Even after retirement, she couldn't stop her work for nature. And she continues to work in the Forest Department Nursery. Now, with two sons and one daughter and their children, she is leading a happy retired life. Her love of nature and forest protection and achievement has to be written in golden words. If wealth of nature is lost, that is the end of mankind. Like the 84-year-old woman Tulsi Gowda from Halakki Vokkalu Adivasi, popularly known as the Forest Encyclopedia, every citizen should take the responsibility of protecting the environment because the next generation can have a beautiful environment to live.